Throughout the billions of years of existence for the Hive, they've had many enemies. Some other alien species like the Dakawa and the Stormjoys. Others right near their home, like the worm gods that tempted them so long ago. The three siblings, Oryx, Savathun, and Zivu Arath, would make a blood oath to hunt down a traitor named Teox. But the thing is, she's still out there. Today we're going to discuss Teox's history and if there's any possibility we may see her in future expansions. Their leaders belong to you. The rest await extermination. No. Gather them. I will take them all. When Oryx and his siblings were young protohive, they would be tutored by a sterile mother named Teox, a trusted teacher whom held a high rank on the world of Fundament. The Osmium King, which was the three siblings' father, began to go crazy. In Teox's mind, she can see that he was going mad and believed that Oryx and his siblings could not rule in his place. So, what did she do? She invited the helium drinkers, the rivals, to assassinate them all. This attempt was semi-successful. The Osmium King was killed, but the three siblings survived and would enact a plot of revenge against their former teacher. The Osmium King has three surviving heirs, each two years old. Zero, the youngest and bravest, who wants to be a knight. This was Zivu Arath. Sathona, most clever, who wants to be a mother, Savathun, and Arash, the navigator child, who dreams of the infinite ocean. Tomorrow she will return from the tungsten monoliths. And of course, that was Oryx. None of these are suitable heirs. None of them will protect the Osmium court from the howling fundament. Zero can fight, but not lead. Sathona can think, but not fight. Arash's curiosity will draw her away from duty. I fear for all future children. Soon the Osmium King will lock himself into the royal orrery to study the moons. Gather your knights, O oh helium drinkers, and invade our continent. Kill the three heirs. I will rule the Osmium court as your regent and build engines for you. And if I fail, let the Leviathan in the deep eat me. Written in grief, this hateful request, Teox, Osmia mother, neutered to watch. From the Books of Sorrow, we can see at this point that the three siblings went down into the depths of Fundament. This, of course, is where they found the worm gods, and each of them took a worm themselves, creating the hive we know. Now, all this information is taken from the Books of Sorrow from the Taken King, by the way, if you haven't figured that out already. Now, during the time that the siblings were going down into the deep and encountering those worm gods, it is believed that Teox would reside on the surface, ruling in the position their father, the Osmium King, once held. When the siblings would return, though, they would spread the worms across their people, building a new army that was an unstoppable force, the Hive. So in the lore card from the Books of Sorrow 3, The Oath, we can see the sisters' plans. I am Zero, youngest daughter of the dead king. I will take back my Osmium court and kill the traitor Teox. On my left eye, I swear vengeance. In blood, the oath was made. I am Sathona, middle daughter of the dead king. I will take back my home and eat the mother jelly. I will raise my spawn in the corpse of the Helium King. On my right eye, I promise this. I am Arash, first daughter of the dead king. I will chase my father's last screaming warning. I will know what changed the motion of our moons. If the end of the world's coming, I will understand why. Because of how powerful they now were, Teox would flee. The siblings wanted her dead, she wanted the hive dead, but she couldn't face them now as she was too weak, so she would flee multiple times actually. 
Following the years after this, Teox would join different alien factions at their planets and hide and also fight back sometimes. Although she did amass some armies and groups of her own, she was nothing compared to the Hive and they would annihilate everything, forcing her to dart throughout the system and find new places to live. For 24,000 years, Teox would remain in cryostasis drifting throughout space, aboard an ancient Hive vessel until an alien race would find her. Now, this alien race that found Teox was called the Dakawa, and it just so happened they were at war with the Hive at the exact same time. So they're like, Teox, give us what information you know about these three siblings, and we'll help you out with whatever you need. Escaping, fighting back, maybe we'll be able to destroy them. But even with the knowledge that Teox would give them, they too would be annihilated, like every other race the Hive came in contact with. This is the last we know of Teox. It is said that she would flee one last time and has been absent ever since. Now the reason I bring this up for this video is that Teox is still out there, presumably. Bungie, of course, probably left this open-ended for future content. In the lore currently, I believe there is no mention of her after the Taken King's Books of Sorrows. So either she's still in the back pocket and could be pulled out one day for use if Bungie decides to do so, or she's dead and we could easily get a lore card that confirms just that. There are some question marks when bringing up Witch Queen. Zivu Arath follows that voice in the dark which is more likely the Winnower or Darkness entity, but wouldn't it be kind of crazy if it was somehow Teox? Fact. It is why Zivu Arath pursues her so relentlessly. For Zivu Rath answers to the same entity as the Black Fleet. We must uncover whatever secrets she knows with the time that we have. I must reiterate, she will try to betray us. It is all that a wretched, self-serving creature like Savathu knows how to do. Now, of course, there's no evidence for that whatsoever. I thought it would just be a nice twist. But we know that the two siblings disagree on something. Savathun is turning towards light and her sister not so much. So in terms of the Hive, we've destroyed a lot, but a lot still remains as well. You got the Worm Gods, these ones specifically. Zivu Arath and Savathun, Oryx is dead as far as we know. And after those alien gods, we can assume Teox, unless she's gained some type of power after all these years. Anyway, Guardians, that's all I got for today's video. When thinking about the Hive, the main focus has always been on the three siblings and the worm gods, but there's also other characters in play that could have a big impact in the future of Destiny's story. If you'd like to see some other Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you Guardians in the next one.